Hi, I'm uh, Ian Selleck. I'm the Director of Marketing for uh, Pool Life Sciences, uh, based out of uh, Westboro, Massachusetts. And uh, Pool Life Sciences is uh, uh, a well-known player in the, uh, in the manufacture of uh, a whole variety of pharmaceuticals and, uh, and vaccines and providing end-to-end uh, -end equipment for processing, uh, processing uh, pharmaceuticals from raw materials right through to a uh, final, uh, final formulation. And uh, what we're basically bringing to the table is a suite of uh, disruptive technologies which are uh, challenging the, uh, the, 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 the very heart of the process by which a lot of uh, biopharmaceuticals and monoclonal antibodies in particular are, uh, are made. Um, and specifically what we're, uh, what we're involved in is to uh, is to take the traditional batch process and uh, turn it into a continuous manufacturing uh, process, which is really quite uh, quite unique uh, and a uh, something which the regulatory authorities would really love to have happen uh, because uh, continuous manufacturing processes are uh, more more efficient. Uh, they uh, tend to be better. Uh, uh, better controlled uh, because they're operating on a continuous basis. Now this has been talked about in uh, biopharmaceuticals for, uh, for some time and people have uh, uh, made some isolated attempts to replace various uh, unit operations with, uh, with continuous uh, uh, analogues. Um, what we set out to, uh, to do and we announced this uh, publicly uh, in uh, October of uh, 2015 uh, was a commitment to make a fully end-to-end -end, uh, continuous process for the manufacture of uh, monoclonal antibodies and uh, we said that we would uh, we would uh, do that the following year that's this year 2016 uh, we have a uh, uh, we have a full process actually up and running in our uh, in our uh, re research facility in uh, in Massachusetts, where we go from cell culture to final formulated monoclonal, uh, without the uh, process actually stopping, and that's uh, that's running. So why we uh, why we came to this uh, this uh, this meeting uh, was really to meet with a lot of the uh, the thought leaders in the uh, uh, in the in the space, people who will be interested in uh, really learning about a completely new way of uh, of of operating their uh, their manufacturing uh, manufacturing process and uh, we've had some very productive uh, productive discussions with uh, with people uh, people here um, who in many cases are hearing about this for the uh, for the first time and, and experiencing that um, it's difficult to uh, to bring all of the all of the equipment of course but uh, um, but uh, you know we we've uh, been able to just demonstrate a few a few piece parts and uh, uh, and really it's helping us to uh, to move this thought process uh, forward with uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, p customers and potential customers who are uh, are attending this meeting. Um, yeah, I mean we've been very uh, very happy with the uh, with the level of uh, interaction that we've uh, we've had and uh, uh, the people who are at this uh, at this meeting because they uh, by and large are the people who are actually in the uh, kind of. In the realm of authority to uh, to uh, to look at uh, look at a dramatic change uh, like uh, like that.